Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new, I'm glad to have you here today. So today I decided to go to the Dollar Tree. I went really early for some reason. I don't know why. I got up super early even though I didn't have to. And I decided, you know what, I want to go ahead and check it out. I went there for one thing and oh my gosh, you can see, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, it's all random, totally, totally random guys. So in today's video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you everything that I picked up from the Dollar Tree today. The first items that I picked up are these by Mr. Brownie and these are the Rich Moist and Fudgy Chocolate Brownie Bites. And guys, these are so good. Oh my gosh. This comes in a five count and each of these brownies are all individually wrapped and sealed. So you can actually take them to lunch with you, pass them out, or just eat one at a time. But oh my gosh, they are so good. These go so quickly in my house. And one is just perfect. What I love to do with this is I like to take a pack and then I like to heat it up in the microwave, maybe anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds, depending on your microwave. And oh my gosh, it is so good. It's like rich, moist. I mean, it's everything it says it is. And the chocolate chips get all melty. It is delicious. I love this. My family loves it. And every time I go to the Dollar Tree to buy stuff, I always look for this and take a couple boxes home. This next item is something new to me and it was something new that I saw. So I really wanted to try it. It's Eat Asian Style Beef and Broccoli Pasta and Seasoned Beef in a Savory Ginger Sauce. So it looks super good looking at the pictures. It looks like something, you know, you could probably buy at a restaurant. But who knows, you know, because it's meant for the grocery store. It's a microwavable meal. So I was willing to try it for a dollar and I hope I love it because for a dollar, why not, right? So if you've had this before and you like it, let me know. But I think I'm going to try it either for lunch today or maybe a late night snack because I don't want to try it at work in case I don't like it or it doesn't agree with me. So I'm going to try it at home first, see how I like it. And if it's good, then I'll definitely buy more to bring to work. I mean, it's a dollar. Why not? As I was walking down the chip aisle, I noticed that they had restocked the whole entire aisle. It looked really, really good. And so I was able to find my favorite home style select restaurant style tortilla chips. It looks like this. And they had been out of it for a long time. I don't know why, but I was so glad to see them stock up on it. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And for those wondering, this has zero grams trans fat per one ounce serving. And the expiration date is October 7, 2019. So it is good. It's not expired because I know a lot of people say to check the expiration date. So just letting you know, it's still good. And then I got the paste, the original picante sauce in medium, which we always get to go with it. And it's just so good. It's such a nice, easy, cheap, light snack to have during the day. And usually my daughter and my son and I will just sit and watch TV and munch on this because it's not overly filling or anything and it's good for two dollars it's a good deal it's a good snack for your family the next items that I picked up are these Van Camps by Chicken of the Sea chunk white albacore tuna in water I picked up three cans and let's see if we can find the weight yes these have a five ounce net weight and I know you can probably get them at the grocery store cheaper or elsewhere. However, since I was there at the Dollar Tree and they had it, I figured for however many cents I save on per can that it would have cost me that in gas anyway to go somewhere else. So I decided I was just going to go ahead and pick it up because we are having tuna salad sandwiches for dinner tonight and egg salad sandwiches as well. So I might as well get it here. So I was going down the food aisle and oh my gosh, this caught my eye. The fudge brownies. I mean, hello, they look so good. I must have been super hungry walking down the aisles. So anyways, I bought two bags of this Betty Crocker fudge brownie mix. And it's made with Dutch cocoa and it makes an 8x8 eight eight pan. 
the net weight is 10.25 ounces and here it is these are so easy to make and they taste so good that i love picking this up whenever i go and now that i think about it i know i do have those mr brownie chocolate brownie bites but on the days i don't have it and we feel like actually making some of these then we'll have it so it's a win-win guys it's a win-win i mean it's fudge brownies how awesome is that so when i was making the birthday goodie bags i realized that i did not have enough ring pops what in the world so i had to go and pick some up today and i decided to go ahead and pick the ones that say freeze just because I like variety with my students and I already had two of the regular original flavors so let's add the freeze to it and these come in a four pack they're all individually wrapped in case you're wondering and you don't know what flavors you're gonna get it looks like you have four different ones but sometimes you could end up with three of the exact same ones or sometimes you could get a good mix you just don't know we eventually moved on to the stationery aisle and this print right here was something that my daughter had been wanting for a while and we just never picked it up because we always saw it there. But today we noticed that they were starting to condense the back to school aisle and they were starting to put things out for full and so we decided, you know what, if she really wants this, it's time to get it now before they get rid of it. And so we got it and this is super cute these are nylon pencil cases they're not very thick quality but they're just really cute it comes in a two pack so you get the one with the clouds and you get the coordinating yellow one in the back that's a little bit larger you can kind of see that there and well you basically get each pencil case for 50 cents so we went ahead and got this for my daughter and the print is just so super cute. I mean, it's the sky with clouds, rainbows, umbrellas, sun, sunglasses, stars. I mean, super cute. In fact, it was so cute. We ended up buying the matching composition notebook. And again, they were starting to run out of a lot of back to school items. So we decided we'll just go ahead and pick it up right away. And I love it just as well. But this is hers to use for notes or whatever she wants to do. She can use it for school. It's just so super cute. And again, we don't know if this print will come back next year. And she likes it. So I decided let's just go ahead and get it for a dollar. Speaking of super cute items, how awesome is this cute ice cream cone pen it's by jot it's a ballpoint pen and it comes with four scoops of ice cream on an ice cream cone you get a blue pink yellow and green scoop of ice cream on the top with a waffle cone on the bottom and a clear cap this is so adorable that we decided to just go ahead and get it. My daughter wanted it. And now I'm wondering if you can change the ice cream scoops around so that you can change the colors. I don't know, but it's so super cute and fun. And I'm gonna ask her about that when she opens it up. But this is hers. And guys, as I mentioned, they are condensing the back to school aisle. So if you see it and you like it, buy it because who knows if they'll continue to stock this exact item. This next item is just one that is so super cute and one that I had been wanting to get every time I saw it, but I always decided I'd get things for my classroom first, for my students, and now that they're condensing the back to school aisle, I decided it was time to get it. But guys, this isn't even for me, it's for my friend. She'd been wanting one for a while and I told her I'd pick her up one if I ever saw it, so this is hers. It was the last one, so... If I ever find another one, I'll get one for me, but this is done in metallic colors, done in fuchsia, silver, teal, and green, and it does have a clear cap, and it is adorable. If you ever find one, definitely get it, because I think these go super fast. Take a look at these next items, because they are so super cute. These are mini erasers, and at first, I just ignored it thinking, you know, I could get a pack of 60 for a dollar at 
Target's dollar spot. However, when I really looked at them, I noticed that these were scented erasers. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? So I picked up the watermelon and the banana just because I thought they would be nice, lighter scents that my students would love. And they look so cute with their little glasses on. Let me go ahead and show you the other side so you can see the racers better. You can see here it says there are 15 mini scented erasers and right now I just bought two packs just because they're a dollar each and I wanted to see how my students would like them. But let's go ahead and look at the actual erasers. And here they are. How adorable are these? You get the banana or the little watermelon. Let's see if you get a better look. Oh, here you go. Here's the watermelon. These are so cute. They're slightly bigger than the ones from Target's Dollar Spot and also wider. So super cute, but they're still mini. And I cannot wait to give these out to my students. I was thinking about getting them scented stickers, but after seeing this, I am so excited. And I'm going to wait for a really, really good occasion to give it to them just to make it super special. So if you've been watching some of my Dollar Tree hauls or my school videos, then you know that I love to buy these lock top snack containers from the Dollar Tree. And today when I was looking, I noticed these three sets. In fact, these were the only three sets, so I just went ahead and bought them out because during the school year, they run out or they're just so hard to find. I usually only find them during the summer and during their back to school season and after that these are so hard to find unless maybe you can find them online but then you have to buy a whole bunch of sets so I just went ahead and bought this because I found them and I was able to get a two pack of the gray a three pack of the bright pink and a two pack of the teal so I am so glad I found them because these are so awesome to use with crayons and other little things now, I already have a class set of crayon boxes, and so you're probably wondering why do I need more of these if I have enough for my class? Well, the reason why is because I actually let my students keep this. I don't tell them that they're gonna get to keep it at the end of the year, but if a student leaves, then I let them keep the container with the crayons inside, and when I get a new student, I go ahead and make them a pack of crayons using these to hold them and then it'll be there. So at the very end of the year, every single crayon container that was being used by my students all goes home with them. And so every year I'm always buying this. So now you know why I'm always buying a classroom set full every single year. It's because I give them away. And when we get new students, I don't want them to feel left out or to not be able to get a set of these. That's their own. So I just go ahead and just pull out a new one and make it ready for them so that they get one of their own. As I looked down the toy aisle, I noticed that they had these doors and windows and they're by Block Tech. They come with 20 pieces in each set. So I thought this would be really fun for my students to have when we're doing STEAM or STEM activities because these come with all the different types of doors, windows, and so on. So it'd be really interesting and fun for my students to use and let them be creative. So hopefully it fits with the building blocks we have right now. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and pick up more of the Block Tech items from the Dollar Tree because I noticed they had some out right now. So it's easy, but hopefully they already fit with what we have. I couldn't resist going down the book aisle, and so I started browsing, and I found this new book right here called The Sweet Spot. And it is a novel by Stephanie Ivanovich, at least I'm thinking that's her last name. And it says it's a New York Times best-selling author of Big Girl Panties. What got me really excited is that I noticed that this was a Target sticker. So I'm hoping that this must have been good enough for them. And so I'm super excited by that. This has a price of $26.99. So I feel like I got an amazing deal, guys. And in case you want to see what the book's about, you can just go ahead and pause it and read this. But yes, I'm happy to have gotten a new book 
because sometimes I want to read, but I just don't want to surf on the internet. And so I'll have this to read as my new book for fall. So here's a look at everything that I bought today from the Dollar Tree. And all I can say is, wow, it looks so random together like this. But these are things that we definitely are going to use or consume or that I'll bring to my classroom. And this is stuff we already know we like. So I'm just super excited by this. I mean, we have our chips and salsa, which we're going to eat today when we watch our TV show. My daughter finally, finally got her pencil pouch in the print she wanted with the cute composition notebook. And guys, I shop at places like Sanrio and other places that have really cute pens and stationery. And I can tell you, pens like these usually will cost a bit more than a dollar. I mean, the mermaid tail and the ice cream cone, I feel that a dollar was an amazing deal. And of course, the smelly erasers. I cannot wait for my students to get these cute little scented erasers. They are adorable. Oh my gosh. And I hope, by the way, that this tastes good because it looks good. So I'm hoping it's good. My family loves the Mr. Brownies. We have more brownies. We got our snack top containers that I can use for a new student. The tuna for dinner tonight. And of course, these cute little pieces to add onto our building blocks. I hope, hope, hope that they fit so I don't have to buy more. Well, guys, this is it. I was actually really excited today. I was very excited by the haul. And I cannot wait to start reading the book. In fact, I might read first today because that book looks so interesting. Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching my video and seeing everything that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I hope you like it. I hope you share it with your friends, and if you haven't done so already, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day, guys!